Um, all right, all new today, another court case involving former President Donald Trump is likely to end up at the U.S. Supreme Court. This week, the high court will hear arguments on whether Mr. Trump can be barred from the presidential ballot here in Colorado. And now his legal team is appealing yet another ruling that states Trump does not have presidential immunity in his election interference case. Fox News correspondent Rebecca Castor reports. It's a major legal blow for Donald Trump. A federal appeals court ruled he does not have presidential immunity over his alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election. The court rejecting Trump's argument that his actions while president could never be prosecuted. What former President Trump was advancing was a sweeping and unprecedented claim of immunity. And that's, it's not surprising that this panel rejected it. In its decision, the court calls the former president a current citizen, writing any executive immunity that may have protected him while he served as president no longer protects him against this. Trump's campaign is already firing back, sharing in a statement, without complete immunity, a president would not be able to properly function. Extreme Democrats will stop at nothing in attempt to prevent President Donald Trump from returning to the White House. Trump's alleged involvement in events on January 6th has already gotten him thrown off the ballots in Colorado and Maine. The Supreme Court will hear arguments on this Thursday, while the former president's GOP colleagues are pushing a resolution that states Trump did not engage in insurrection. The protesters who were present in the Capitol building did so of their own volition. They were not encouraged and they were not led by the president to take any such actions other than to peacefully protest. Trump's team plans to appeal this latest ruling, holding up the former president's trial from starting in D.C. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News. And meanwhile, Fox 31 has you covered for this historic case that's heading to our nation's capital. Fox 31's Ashley Michaels will be in Washington, D.C. to hear these arguments. Uh, you can look for her live reports starting tomorrow, and you'll also be able to listen to the hearing live at 8 a.m. Thursday at KDVR.com.